Today's plaything, boys and girls, is the Easy Coat Electrostatic um, Powder Coating. Why, I hear you ask. Uh, as some of you will know, uh, since retiring, uh, I've been managing several projects, all voluntary, all need funding. And a part of the way to fund one of these projects is by going back to making these things again. Coin rings. And these are all made from um, old pre-decimal coins, of which I have an exceptionally large quantity. So the only logical thing to do was to turn them into rings. And it's actually been quite uh, quite popular and quite successful. And I'm managing to, to fund a couple of support groups by selling these. The problem is, I need a copper. You can sometimes turn your fingers black. And even a copper and nickel. Um, the shillings and the sixpences and the half crowns and the florins uh, all have a propensity potentially to turn your fingers black. Now, what I do is coat them in a lacquer and very often that's good enough. However, lacquer does wear off. So I've been looking uh, at the potential for powder coating, hence the easy coat from Electrostatic Magic. I will put in the, you know, details bit underneath down there underneath this video a link to their website uh, full disclosure they don't know I'm making this I've got no contact with them uh, there's been no um, endorsements or anything I bought this kit 149 pounds something delivered includes some um, clear but I also paid an extra seven quid and bought some black mat because I think that will be the patina that I'll be using in future instead of liver of sulphur. And for those people who uh, don't really know much about my coin making activities, none of this will make much sense. But I will also use this for powder coating boat parts. So what do you get in the box from them? This is the box from them. You get a couple of powder bottles you get this gun you get a water separator i have put on here a pressure gauge uh, because when i ordered the additional black um, i sent them an email saying is it too late to add to the order very nice lady phoned me and said no we could do that and she also said look when you're doing this try and start at 6 psi blimey that's low i could blow a balloon up higher than that so i've got this is the, from the um the main compressor over there i've got a dry uh, filter on there i've got another dry filter on here so or, or a water you know sucker outer from the air and then there's another one on there uh six psi is i don't know if you can hear this um that's next to nothing In fact, is that just going up? That's at about four or five PSI. Okay. So, uh, I suppose we ought to see what it's like in action. Good instruction manual. Uh, basically what you do, you ground yourself. You sp sort of like electrostatically splurge this onto the rings and then you bake it at 180 degrees centigrade Oh, mates in America, I'm sorry. I can't do that calculation. I'll put that in the in the description underneath as well, down there. Uh, bake it 10 minutes, 180 degrees centi centigrade, and that should be it. I haven't got any, I don't think, hang on, I'll have to have a look. Obviously, I haven't got any big coins ready made. I'm doing some shillings, sixpences, and fruity bits at the moment. Uh, oh, actually, I don't know. No, I haven't. Huh? I thought I'd done. Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, I'll have to pause this and then knock up a couple of half crowns and then uh, be right back. I should just note that um, I've put a slightly smaller hole in a half crown than I would normally, uh, as this is a test, it's to make a wider band. Um, so 
I would normally put, I think that's three eighths, I'd normally put a slightly larger hole in there. So let's see what that turns out like when it's stretched and formed and folded and stuff. I feel old to point out, I've made these remarkably stupidly big. <laughs> uh, slightly oversized, we might say. Actually, I think that one's even bigger. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's quite a large ring. Um, they might make a nice fun ring for somebody. However, as this is purely to uh, test how good the powder coating is, I wanted to make them quite large. I seem to have retained most of the detail, thanks to loads of screw fix plumber's tape, thick gas plumber's tape, by the way, about five for 10 rolls. Uh, so I've maintained most of the inside detail. Let's polish them up and go play with the powder coater. Okay, polished. And give them a dunk in acetone. Let that dry off and then go play. Okay, I have read the instructions. I know, boys don't normally do that, but <clears throat> I thought it's only fair. Uh, right, you hang that on some metal. You fill that with powder. The reason I'm banging through this quickly is because you won't be able to hear me for the next part very well because I will be wearing um, breathing mask and face mask apparatus. Now, one thing that it did say, it's got an earthing strap. I didn't quite know where to earth it to. So the best thing I've got is this security door. So I've earthed it to the handle of there, earthed it to that wire. That wire goes through there. I'm just using an old delivery box. Other delivery services and things are available, by the way. I will then hang it from that little hook and hopefully I would think we will have enough light so you could see me go like that or like that or like that like that that won't mean anything to the younger people but there we go uh so breathing apparatus fill that with powder sorry delilah darling uh, she's a she's a little pirate girl um fill that with um people who've never watched any of my videos are going to be very very uh yes anyway so that 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 and six bsi we'll see where we go oh oh exciting i feel like darth vader in this i don't think i'll find him this time of day right here we go we have got this at three psi ha <laughs> we got a ring i'm only doing the black put a little bit of black in there by the way good tip Fill that outside. Uh, right, here we go. I don't know if this is going to work. Ouch, hang on. Right, you ready? Oh, no, it's probably not enough. I think we're going to need a little bit more air. <laughs> hang on, let me turn the air up. Okay, that was six PSI. I think this is more like ten. Let's see how we go. How's that look? Oh, of course, the fucking speaker's in the way. Right, I think that's a sort of. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Luke, I am your father. Right, Let's turn it round and do to the side. Bloody hell. Right. It's a lot of powder down there. Okay. Now. Now I'm going to take this sodding mask off. Hang on. Right. It is in the oven. 
actually it doesn't look like it's that well coated on one of the bits of the inside but this is you can see it is coated on the outside so in there and uh, 10 minutes at 180 and uh, we'll come back and we'll see actually we could probably see it through the but not very well enough I don't hang on uh, light? oh sod it it's not even it's not good enough to you know um to view through that well you saw i don't know could you we could do now if i'd have thought about this in advance i could have uh, set a proper camera up instead of using my uh my phone and we could have done a time lapse but anyway uh this is um i ain't gonna bother i'm afraid boys and girls because um i'm gonna use that uh nine remaining minutes to make myself a coffee so i am mm. we are five and a bit minutes in and getting a lot of um this is, this is that's hang on that's not bad is it here we are it's starting to do Thank you. So the light goes off in the oven. Actually, I don't know whether the light on the oven's better or not. Let's try a torch. It's starting to do the thing that powder coating does, which is sort of like melt or whatever. Uh, anyway, we have um, three and a half minutes to go. I am going to enjoy my coffee. Thank you. Oh, moment of truth, boys and girls. Right, let's have a, a look. Well, actually, do you know, I don't know. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'll let that cool down for a second and take it out because I haven't got a best of light to tell what that's like. So let it cool down, take it out, and then we'll have a we'll have a review yeah okay I've never done this before so I'm not really too sure what to expect however I think that has powder coated it if you have a look it's still a bit warm um, now for a first attempt I ain't totally displeased with that and okay I know it's not the best of rings I've ever made, but uh, it's only made for a, a demo. So what I'm going to do now is clean off the outside. In other words, all the raised bits, I'm going to try and just remove the powder coating from that. And we'll see what it looks like. But that's not right bad. I'm going to clean all the inside out as well, I expect. But yeah. So yes, look, you can actually see the the lettering of the half and the crown yeah. that's all right let's see where it goes next hmm I have to say now I'm not an expert at these things believe me I've been making coin rings probably on and off for 40 years I've devised various little wooden blocks to try and hold the coin in a drill press, various ways of finding the middle of a coin, various ways of slicing the ends of my fingers off when the coin has slipped while drilling it, loads in the bin because the hole's not been in the middle. So since I retired I've invested in a few odd little bits and pieces like some of the Jason's works stuff over there, a decent dust and um, thing stretcher was it not a bad polisher um, you know the six ton press all that sort of stuff arbor press bollocks or you know what's it sorry I didn't mean the bollocks I swear fuck it I've done it now anyway so look and all of those have, have made it more fun and made it easier but I'm pleased with that that 150 quid 
under the 49 pound um, just cleaned it all up with you know, some of those sanding blocks and wire wool and now polishy I don't know what I've done with it those things you know those things over there and that little gun and the powder arrived two hours ago I read the instructions and I am that was the hardest bit to clean up I could do a bit more cleaning up on that on that reed to be honest but um, a couple of hours with a new toy and all right there's bits on there there's there's you know odd little imperfections but first attempt yeah pleased with that um anyway this video has gone on long enough i will probably do another one after i've tested the uh clear coat but i can't at the moment um think that i'm going to be any more impressed than i can be because this is this is just it's beautiful and yeah first attempt i am happy so i'll put details of um electrostatic magic the people what i did get stuff from 149 quid i got the extra black uh which is this i, I got the clear with it and then i got the extra black lovely woman phone she told me six psi it works better at 10 or a little bit more um now i'm intrigued i'd like to know and i might i don't know if I can afford it. See, that's the thing with making coins and stuff like this. Yeah, all of this I've bought as I could afford it. Um, one little bit at a time. I've got another order coming from Jason's. Um, you know, as I can afford it, I buy a little bit more because I ain't got a lot of money. You try living on a pension. Um, but uh, I'm tempted now to try and see what some of the other colours are like. They do a whole range of colours. They're all on their website. But for me... Sorry, I'm waffling on a little bit now because I am blown away by this. And yeah, okay, it ain't perfect, but for a first attempt. Uh, sorry, so yeah. Would I recommend it? Bloody right I would. Thank you, boys and girls. That is that. Actually, you know what? Sod it. I'm one of those really impatient sorts. I'm give that a bit of a wash. And then we'll see what it's like with the clear powder coating. Oh, 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 oh. oh look. I'm still impressed with that. All right, okay. Clear. One of the things I forgot about wearing these sodding masks is that if you get a little bit of hair on your nose, it's impossible to it's impossible to uh yeah anyway right i've made a slight modification to this that's the wire so that's the one that i did in black and that's the one that uh, is just polished so let's see how this goes aha uh -huh. right so there is a a bit of a knack to it right so that's the um that side and I'll show you what I've done with that fucking lead. Right, if I show you what I've done with a clamp, to spin that turns those. Do you see what? I don't know if you see what I mean, boys and girls. So it turns that round. Right. It's not too bad that side, is it? I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed with that. So that's at 10 psi. Right. Whoops. It's health and safety fucking nightmare. Isn't it? Oh, excuse me. I'm wearing a mask. You wouldn't have heard that. Right. So let's put them over in the oven. Oh, I'd better turn the oven back on and warm it up. Hang on. Okay. While we're waiting for the oven to warm up. Uh, these, this is just a bit of bent garden wire and that's a little bit of a slightly larger um, fencing sort of wire. I saw uh, someone doing a powder coating thing, they used the little clips off bulldog clips, they, you know the bulldog clips, they just took them out, sharpened the points on the, you know, where it touches the coin, they sharpened those. I just used a pair of wire cutters to get that, I don't know if you can see that 
little pointed to pointy bit but by cutting it with wire cutters it squeezed it and then cut it so it's sort of pointed uh yes so now oh and on there what i did was i bent that in a certain way so that i can then hang it on the um oven thing uh easily right so this is the clear powder coat let's see how that turns out when the oven is up to temperature Whew. and another coffee while i'm waiting i've so much caffeine today i tell you what tonight i'm going to be shaking like a shitting dog right almost ready and they're in right we might be able to see a little bit better the uh, curing process this time had i had the foresight to clean the glass door of Dovan, but didn't so i'll skip this bit right while we're waiting for that to cure in oven uh just have a quick recap 149 quid this was at um 12 psi and there's not a huge amount of wasted powder in fact i think i managed to waste more of the black at a lower psi uh so not too bad i don't know whether it'd be possible to reclaim that pass it through a 200 micron filter or something i don't know um but you know it's not an awful lot of wastage there um let's have a look um inside we have um i've cleaned it all out just using a high pressure airline and then the you know air duster this was 149 for 179 it comes with a case uh would i have wanted a case i don't know because i'm not sure if it would have fit with me putting the air uh, pressure gauge on there and stuff and i usually add odd little things like funnels and stuff so i don't know whether they're case but it'd be handy if you're only going to use it now and then uh one tip fill these outside uh it's a very very fine powder wear a mask <laughs> the thing is what you don't realize is you can't see the particles in the air they will be there and you will breathe them in and uh and then you will get ill um yes the book of words the manual well written easy to understand all in all it's a good kit i i have to say i have I have spent a worse 150 quid on other things uh, in my life. Um, but it's a good kit. Well done. Links down there uh, and stuff. If I remember, I'll put, you know, conversion 180 degrees to whatever it is in Fahrenheit old money. Uh, right. Time's nearly up. Let's go and see what, if we go, God, I'm sorry about this. This, this workshop is, is totally, ah, oh, what can you say? Um, apart from, ba -da, 32 seconds. Oh, that's a hell of a long time to wait. Hang on, I'll just skip this and wait till it's all, hang on, just look. Look, you can see, boys and girls, it has worked, it's magic. Oh, it's voodoo. No, it's not, it's powder coating. 180 degrees, 12 seconds, 10, 9, no, that's too children's TV-ish. Um, <laughs> end. Wow. Oh, crikey, that's warm. Okay. Let's um, take that out, cool it down, go back over to the workbench and see what we think. Now, because I am one of those lazy types, these are still quite warm, but I must say, oops, very impressed. Uh, 
and this was the one which I'd previously coated in the black powder coat. So this is now got two layers of powder coating on. It's got the black underneath. I don't know if you can see the powder coating has smoothed the top off there. So yeah, it's a smoothish finish. Slightly raised lettering, but so back to um, back to my previous comment. Is it worth 149, 150 quid? Yeah, it is. I think it's, I think it's a, a bargain for that. You will need a very small air compressor. And what I would always suggest with any air compressor that you're not using for air tools. If you're using it for air tools, you need to lubricate the airline. If you're not using it for tools, if you're using it for painting or whatever or especially like you know plasma cutting or in this case powder coating put as many air traps uh, in that line as you can because you don't want any moisture in there so this was um this has been two like nearly three hours now since it arrived i just knocked these coins up quickly to test it I'm glad I used the smaller hole, it's quite nice as a wider band. Make a nice thumb ring. Yeah, anyway, that, boys and girls, is that, and I am well impressed. So, and now I'm wondering what <laughs> all of the other colours they do be like. Oh, we could have some fun with this. Right, so, um, yes, everybody. I'm really sorry because I yak on it in these videos. I'm not a professional video maker. I don't want to be a YouTube star. I just tend to do it as I do it and I talk to the camera as I talk to myself. I am completely balmy. I'm allowed to be. I'm a retired professor. Uh, but I hope this has been helpful to some people and interesting to other people who, um, yeah, stuff. Brilliant. Thanks for watching. Oh, if you like, what was I supposed to say? If you like, then please click like and subscribe to my channel, which I just think means you want to follow these stupid videos that I make. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching, boys and girls.